Yeah, my diet and nutrition is obviously important, as you saw this morning. Um, obviously, I have like a massive breakfast every day, like that, with like beans and sausages and scrambled ev everything, really. And then just work it off during the day. Probably was first cooked breakfast. Normally, I just get up, have some cereal, and get out the door. You know, I can't be bothered to sit down or wait for a cooked breakfast. So that's why I don't have one. So um, yeah, I just normally get up, have some cereal, get to work. I've got these special bars that give me energy, but I can't say what they are, obviously, because everyone would have it. So I've got special high energy bars that give me energy. I can't say, Greg. You've got to be super, super fit, you know, to ride motocross. So I have like three or four, maybe five fitness tests a year. And uh, like when I've had them, like we're, we're not far off, you know, like cyclists, professional cyclists, you know, it's like, it's that, that hard. In the winter, we just don't stop training. I'm always out on my bicycle, get up real early, go for like, oh, sometimes we go for like four or five hours just sitting on the bicycle in the winter, like in a freezing cold. And, you know, it's not as easy as some people think. They think it's just, we have these like nice bikes given to us and, just have to get on and ride at the weekend, but it's nothing like that, you know. We have to put the hours in the gym, on a bike, everything. Everything goes into it. When you're doing it, it's all hard, but uh, I like doing circuit training and training with my friends. I try and train my friends as much as I can, you know. We always, like, if I go cycling, normally with someone. If we go in the gym, I'm normally with a mate, so. We, like, it's good to push each other, you know. At the minute, I'm probably doing more cardio, probably nearly on my bicycle every day. Like, doing something, you know, if it's not hard, I'm just spinning out and something like that, you know, yeah. just to keep myself fit. Frustrating game I've ever played in my life. I play with my granddad sometimes, he's like, I don't know, he thinks he's a professional, but he's not at the minute. And he plays like all the time, and now goes mental at him because he's never owned. All he's doing is playing golf, but I'll probably be like that when I'm older, I suppose. Went for a cycle ride earlier and it was pretty cool. I nearly ran into the back of the brain one right here once and I lost my glasses and I scratched it. But um, no, it's pretty cool, you know. It's, it's mega for training around it. The hills are awesome. We went up a hill on the way to the track and I didn't actually think the van was getting up there. It was so steep. And it's sunny. I didn't think it's sun come out in Wales, but obviously does. <laughs>
got, that was quite possibly the dustiest track I've ever ridden, but it was pretty fun, you know, um, and very rocky. But yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. It's nice and hilly, and no, it was fun. Being on a BMX, you know, like we're me, Lewis, there's a load of us who've got them, and um, we're just always out on them as much as possible. We've got like, I've been digging at my house for God knows how long. I can't explain how cool it is when you get like a big set smooth and like you just go through like you're on rails and it's the best feeling in the world you know when you when you just glide through a section and get it cool. On a motocross bike I don't know you just you can get away with more and you know on a BMX if you come up like an inch short you're going down and it's going to be down in a big way. You just get such a, more adrenaline like coming up to a BMX jump thinking am I going to make it, am I going to make it. I don't know it just keeps you on top of your game you know all the time. Me up at www.evbmx.co.uk. We had to go for a five-hour trip up to Wales, but it was worth it. <laughs>